Hey everybody, I got some gift cards for Christmas so I've been doing quite a bit of shopping over the past week and I'm going to do a few haul videos that I'll be putting up over the next few days showing you the things that I purchased. And today's video is from Forever 21 and I love that store. You can get some really great trendy items and it won't break the bank. I got so much stuff for not a lot of money. The items there are really reasonably priced and I just really like to go there, as I mentioned. So I'm just, I got some clothing, some accessories like jewelry, and then I got a nail polish. So I'm just gonna get right in and show you what I got. And I'll start with the basics first. They have some really great basics there that are seriously affordable. Like this, I got this gray t-shirt. It's just a basic black charcoal gray v-neck. It's got, it's more of like a deep V. So um, this was $5, I'm sorry, no, it was $4.80. So really reasonably priced. Sometimes they have like specials on their basics where you can get two for a certain price. I know Victoria's Secret does that a lot with their clothes and I really like stores that do deals like that because then I'll just stock up on things. But it's just your basic black gray t-shirt and I wear a lot of basic tees um, I do a lot of layering with my clothes, so something like this is a total essential for me. And I love that it was $4.80. The next item that I picked up is another basic, and it's just your standard white um, cami. It's cotton just like the t-shirt was. It's really soft. This one though is pretty sheer, so I don't recommend wearing this on its own, but it's just, it's really good for layering. Like I said, they, they have really great layering pieces and it just looks really cute with stuff over it and just having a little bit of the tank top peeking out. This one was $2.80, so a really good deal. One thing I like about their, their tank tops, which some people might not prefer, is that they don't have a built-in shelf bra. I can't stand shirts that do. It really bothers me. I don't know why it, why it it is so irritating to me, but I will not buy a tank top that has a built-in bra. I can't do it. It's just, it's not comfortable. I don't think it looks good on me. So I love Forever 21s because for under $3, they're cute and they don't have that really annoying feature. So now I'll show you the non-basics that I got, just some like cute little sweaters. And I got two of the same sweater in different colors, which I don't usually do, but I love this so much and it wasn't that expensive. And I sized up on these just because I prefer like the slouchy look to them, but it, this one is just a, I don't know, just I guess I call that like a latte color. And the back is solid, but the front has this really pretty crocheted here, if I maybe stick my hand, then you can see it. It's got a really pretty crocheted front, so obviously you need to wear a tank top underneath it, which is one of the reasons why I got the um, the white one. But isn't that pretty? It's just such a delicate detail, but it's so cute. It has quarter sleeves. It's a cropped sweat. It's not cropped, but it comes to, I guess, like the top of where a mid-rise jean would go. It's just so pretty, and this was... $17.50 and I also got it in this really really pretty melon shade. I love this color. Obviously not my shade right now but it's a really light knit sweater so I was thinking that it would be gorgeous with a pair of white shorts or white pants in the summer when I have a tan. So I completely didn't buy this with the intent to wear it this time of year but I figured I really liked it and I knew it wouldn't be around come the summertime when I would ideally wear it. But this also has the same pattern. It's just so pretty. I really like it. And I've been really into the really delicate crochet knit sweaters lately. That's just, you'll definitely see that in the next item that I show you. It's just a big trend for me lately that I've just really, really love. And this is the last article of clothing that I got and this one was 1980 so it was on the more expensive side but it's just a really like I said it's got that crocheted like um kind of like whole look to it at first I saw this and I thought it was really ugly but it's totally growing on me this is such a thin knit like there's 
a lot of holes in it and you can it's not going to keep me warm but it's just cute and then it has so it's got like the rose I don't know what kind of fabric that is like what kind of yarn that is and then it's got a little bit of cream ribbon sewn throughout and I really love this over a cream tank top but I already own one so I didn't need to pick one up but I just really like it it's got the quarter sleeves again now it's on to the accessories and I'm going to show you the nail polish first and this is called mint I saw this on my way out and I just fell in love with it I had to have it this was two dollars and eighty cents so you know a really good deal but the reason that I picked this up was that it caught my eye I've never tried their nail polishes I have no idea what the quality is like I haven't used this yet but it caught my eye and it looks so much like the Dior Spring Collection Water Lily nail polish. I have that somewhere in my room. I'm going to do a, probably a blog post comparing the two of these together, or I might mention this when I do my Dior review. But this was $2.80, and it looks so similar to the Dior Water Lily. It's just slightly more blue toned, but I mean, I feel like it's close enough where I don't. I don't know if I need to hold on to the Dior Water Lily. That one was, I think, 22 or 23 bucks. So I saved 20 bucks if I just stick with this one. But I just had to, I had to pick that up, and I really, really like it. I can't wait to try it. Then I got some accessories, and I only got one pair of earrings. Um, they're three dollars and eighty cents, and aren't they cute? They're just white. Can you, can you tell that I'm really into like the lacy kind of thing right now? And they have a little, I don't think you'll be able to see it, they have a little rhinestone right there. And they're just like a cream, they're really lightweight even though they're dangly and I really like that. And I just thought they were so pretty, really like them. Next I got a bunch of bangles. They're enamel bangles and I really love these. And I have to have them all together, sorry. And they're just your standard enamel, but then they have on each one, there's a little bit of a stud. Not enough to hurt you or anything like that, but it's definitely on trend with the, the pyramid studs that have been all over accessories lately. And I just think they're really cute, and I like that there are different thicknesses for these, and you can mix and match them. And they're just really cute. The next thing that I got is... It was four dollars and I love this. It is just a long pendant. It's like a blue, it's a blue stone and then it has just a little bit of gold wiring running on top of it. I guess it's more of like a mottled blue and white stone and it's a really long one so it's gonna hang and I have to tell you I saw in the Nordstrom catalog before Christmas something so similar to this and let me tell you that was like a hundred dollars and this was about five so no this was under five yeah so definitely a really good deal and it's really cute I love that that would definitely just jazz up like a basic t-shirt, no problem. I'm obsessed with the next necklace that I have. I really love it. It was expensive for Forever 21. It was $14.80, but I cannot wait to wear this. And, oh my god, I love it. It's a gold tone, a bunch of gold tone little chains that have been like woven and braided together. And they also have se like faux seed pearls that are just strewn throughout. And then at the bottom, they all just kind of dangle, so there's the chains, the plain gold tone chain, and then the seed pearl chain. Oh, I love it, and it just drapes. Oh, I can't wait to wear this. I honestly don't know exactly what I would wear this with. I haven't played with it at all. I don't know quite how far this is going to fall on my, you know, on my chest. But I just think this is so beautiful, and even though it's a substantial necklace it still seems kind of delicate at the same time because it has the really delicate seed pearls and the chains and just I love this and even if I never wear this I just think this would be an absolutely stunning piece to just hang decoratively somewhere obviously not here because I don't know if you've noticed but where I live at the moment I don't really have a very attractive setup things are just kind of here more for function than for appearance but I am moving in, I think, like the next, what, six weeks? I'm moving, so hopefully when I get myself situated, everything will be pretty and girly and just the way I want it. So until then, 
I just am stuck with this behind me. And um, I have two more necklaces to show you. And this one is, it was another pricey one. It was about $10.80. I wore this in my New Year's, my beauty resolutions video. I love this. It's a bib necklace and it's really pliable, really fun. Um, the only complaint I have though is that sometimes if I bend forward, it kind of curves in and I have to fix it, but it's not a big deal. But it's kind of got this like box link, gold tone box link that's throughout. So it's kind of like a woven thing. And then it has burgundy ribbon woven throughout. And I think it's just so pretty. It looks kind of regal. It reminds me a little bit of, for some reason, it kind of rem reminds me of an Egyptian necklace. I don't know why. It has an adjustable chain so you can change the length of the necklace so it can be a shorter one or it can go a little longer if you're wearing a deeper shirt and I just really love this over just a plain basic t-shirt it looks really really nice and just kind of adds a little bit of pop to your outfit and that I can't speak and then the last item that I got from Forever 21 is what I'm wearing right now and this was pretty reasonable this was like six dollars I think I'll just get a little closer so you can see it. It's a teal and gold necklace. Um, this is like one big plate and it is kind of like a woven effect and then the little gold goes throughout and just weaves in and out. Just I think this is so pretty. It's kind of like an enamel one and then it just goes on a basic chain. This one, this one was also a what do you call that, an adjustable one, so you can change the length of it, but I think this is on the longer setting. So I really love this one. Again, I, I'm a big fan of the statement necklace, so this is something that's definitely gonna get a lot of use for me. So I'm really excited with everything that I picked up in this particular haul. I honestly don't know what my favorite item is. I really would not be able to narrow it down. So if, um, if you guys are interested in the upcoming hauls that I'm going to be having, I'll be doing Dior, MAC, and I have something else and I can't think of what that is right now. And then I am also going to be showing you the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette, which I have been playing with nonstop. Now that I'm feeling better, I can give you a real review. So that will be my next video I think that I'm going to film, so keep an eye out for that one. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye!